tonight, we are sitting down with a little girl who's recovering from not one, but two copperhead bites. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jim Dunaway. Anna Claire Pledger spent three days in the hospital. Now, some people are calling her a hero. For more on her story, let's bring in CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner, who has spent the day in Mountain Brook. Lee? Well, Jim and Sherry, the incident happened here in the wooded area near Mountain Brook Junior High School. Anna Claire Pledger and two of her younger siblings were playing in the woods when she tells me she felt what she thought initially was a twig brushing up against her leg. They kind of showed us the paper because there, there's already a procedure in place for children coming in with snake bites, which is kind of reassuring, but also kind of scary, like this happens so often. Anna Claire Pledger was in the woods with two of her younger siblings when she made a startling discovery. She'd been bitten by a copperhead. Right here and right there. She told them to run and in the process of protecting them, actually got bit again. Because I felt I was responsible because because they told me not to go in the woods for the first place. Anna Claire spent three days in the hospital. Her family was overwhelmed by the support they received from the medical team and the entire community. I mean, my village. I can't say it enough. And for what she did, making sure her siblings got out of the woods safely, some people are praising Anna Claire for her bravery. Meanwhile, she and her mom both want people to know this is something that could happen to anyone, so you need to be aware of your surroundings. They're everywhere. I mean, we, I mean, ugh, I mean, I hate to say, but this is their, this is their, this is their habitat, and we've come in to, you know, and we've all disturbed it. Yes, Mountain Brook's been here for a long time, but I mean, the, it, it's nature. Now, Anna Claire tells me that she's mostly back to her normal routine. She is still taking some medication, but she says that she's out there cheering again. She's going to school, and yes, she has even gotten back outside. Reporting live in Mountain Brook, Lee Garner, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.